Hi everyone, Coach Steve here with a short video outlining which are the most beginner friendly 70.3 or half Ironman courses in the US. Now there's no such thing as an easy half Ironman because you still need to cover the distance, but some courses are more challenging than others due to terrain, time of year, the actual and the course. So I've gone through and done a bit of research and um, have found which would be the more beginner friendly courses for your first 70.3. Okay, so um, I will do this in classic movie style in reverse order, um, which I've done for the other uh, videos I've done in this series. If you ch wait till the end, I have links to the full distance beginner friendly courses and also um, the beginner friendly courses in Europe. Anyhow, that's at the end. So. What I look at in terms of the give a ranking, um, how easy it is to get there, accommodation, race logistics, how much is uh, involved on the day, the course difficulty, and the time of year. Time of year is important in terms of not only for the temperature and the weather you can expect on the day, but also if you reverse back when you'll be doing your longest bikes and runs. Ideally, you want to avoid doing them in winter. So without further ado, our first up in third place uh, is somewhere it's, it's got a good international airport and domestic airport and it's lots of transport options a major city it has a single transition and um, which essentially means where you swim to bike and you bike to run is the same place rather than having two different locations which involves a little bit more logistics the couple of days before the race and um, which minimizes stress which is exactly what you want on your first 70.3 um, the swim is a renowned as being a very beginner friendly swim. It's in the sea, it's a horseshoe shape as you go out, up, and down. Um, the bike is a single loop coastline route and flat, um, some minor hills, but nothing to write home about. And the run is an out and back flat course. So, all in all, very uh, friendly for a beginner. The time of year, it's in September, which means that. Uh, the, the temperature on the day will, uh, won't be too hot or too cold uh, for this air region and um, but also it means that if you're in uh, you may can av may avoid having to do any winter training or long bikes or long runs in the, uh, when it's cold and miserable for the northern hemisphere and um, so it's a very good option and what are we talking about one second we are talking about 70.3 Santa Cruz that happens on the 10th of September very much worth looking at. Okay, number two, we have, again, it's in a major city, so it's uh, transport options are good. Single transition, also again, minimizes the stress. It's a bay swim. It's meant to be a little bit more uh, difficult than say Santa Cruz, um, but it, the bike is very flat. It's two and a half loop course. It's a the run is point to point flat course, which is actually unusual enough and for a 70.3, but it also means that you when you see who is in front of you, you've got exactly who you need to chase down. Again in September, so zero winter training. Again, which is key. Okay, and we're talking about 70.3 Atlantic City. Um and don't worry about the guy with the scary face there. I'm sure he had a good race. Um okay. So, full transparency, I haven't done enough of uh, any of these races. I was reliant on my American um, friends and colleagues and research. So, and so, please let me know if you agree or disagree and put something in the comments. But these are other races that popped up or people were talking about as I was having the conversations. Um, 70 3 Steelhead came up uh, a lot and was highly recommended by a lot of my um, athlete pals. Um, 70.3 Munsey Munsey came up again and um, highly recommended and I don't know what else what else do you think I should add or I should look at <laughs> because I'm going to use this list to actually form a bucket list of 70.3s I'm going to complete in the, in the states okay um, back to our number one and our winner of my competition um, Again, it's a major city, so the transportations are, 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 are top notch. Single transition seems to be the predominant feature in American 70.3s. We do have a bit more split 70.3s in um, Europe. It's a saltwater bay swim, 
it's a single flat uh, a course uh, on the bike lends to our PRs, uh, personal records, on the bike split. It's a multi-loop flat course on the run. There's not an awful lot in terms of uh, hills, but there are some twists and turns which can slow you down a little bit, but minimally. The only negative I found about this race, and in terms of talking to guys, it's, it is in April, so it's early in the year, so you will need to be doing some of your longer stuff um, during the winter months. Um, and again, you just need to plan for that. And of course, we are talking about 70.3 Texas. Um, so, as I said, so we had uh, Santa Cruz, Atlantic City, and 70.3 Texas. If you look here now, I'm going to uh, talk a bit. You can link to the top Ironman races I recommend in the for first timers in the US. And also, there's if you're thinking about traveling to the Europe to do a set your first ever 70.3, I also have the 70.3 um, to do for best courses for first timers in Europe. Okay, guys, as I said, interested in a debate, let me know in the comments if you think I'm mad, if I'm off mark, or there's things I've completely missed, or I've got it right. I'm kind of interested to hear. Have a super holiday.